Well, it is true that the dynamics from the energy transition, they are really rapid. They are uh, profound and they change business. Uh, uh, business as usual is not an option. They change the business realities. So for, for business, it's absolutely critical to understand what are the key driving forces behind the transition, the climate context, the, um, the whole innovation context, um, uh, digitalization, decentraliz uh, decentralization type of issues, but also the new resilience and risk issues. So we, the energy transition uh, globally is going um, with enormous dynamics forward and we need talent to not only understand but implement new solutions and as one of the initiatives here we, are, uh, uh, we agree with the government to jointly train talent. One accident after another. Um, I, I think the reality was I started with very micro and um, questions like um, solar cell, I was um, in the beginning involved in solar cell research um, obviously then the questions have shifted to um, system type of questions, what kind of uh, you know, system support uh, uh, solar and, and other renewables, um, the questions of macroeconomics, does it, what does it do to labour markets uh, or climate change. And, and suddenly you find yourself in the midst of policy question and you get back to the point where you are asked, you know, how can you accelerate innovation and which are the good innovations? And you're back to the very beginning to how can you make solar cells better? So it's a, it's a way, I think this is a, a beauty about the most complex, most fascinating domain, which is energy, um, to, to have a, such a fascinating system. And I think you cannot do one thing without the other. So that's probably my personal story. Well, we have uh, three years ago seen the Secretary General of the UN, the then Secretary General, defining energy as a fundamental, and for the first time as UN, defining energy as a fundamental development need. You know, historically, um, he has not been the first to say this. We could go back to people like Lenin, who in, uh, you know, a uh, hundred years ago have said, um, you know, Communism is uh, Soviet power and electricity for all. So he already recognized at that moment that development can only happen with uh, energy, with electricity. But I think today we are acknowledging that as a world community, access to energy defines societies, access to, uh, to energy defines prosperity, defines uh, ways how uh, countries can develop, be prosperous and uh, competitive. So it's really fundamental to every domain of, of, of life and it's a fascinating area. There's so much innovation uh, going on in this area and I think if we can share a little bit of that, that fascinating and profoundly important area um, with, uh, with everybody, then, then we, have, we work towards a better energy system and more sustainability for all.